Now, the purpose of this video is to show you how to create an action that'll zoom out to the full project, both vertically and horizontally. So, for project in front of me here, as you can see, this is the height of the tracks that I like to work with normally. We have some drums, bass, guitars, vocals, and the height of the tracks lets me see all the buttons or elements on that track, where if I made them smaller, they'd be harder to see. And over here, I can see the waveforms pretty clearly, even though the song goes much further. Back over here. So I call this my home view, where I set up a keyboard shortcut to jump back to this view. After I zoom in, both vertically and horizontally, to see my waveform, I just hit a key and it jumps back to my home size, which I set up in the view menu on the screen sets in the track views tab right over here. I save it with shift and F4 and I recall it with the F4 key. So now I can zoom in or scroll both vertically or horizontally, hit that key and it jumps back to my home view. But sometimes we wanna see the whole project and there is an action to do that, but it only does it horizontally. If we go to the actions menu, show action this and type into the filter, zoom out project. And here's the action I'm talking about. And this comes with Reaper. And by default, it's set up to be triggered with this keyboard shortcut. Control page down on the PC or command page down on the Mac. So if we hit that keyboard shortcut, we can now see our entire project from left to right over here, before and after. But it only works horizontally. It doesn't work vertically. So we can't see all the tracks at once with that keyboard shortcut. We can still zoom using a mouse wheel like this to change the size of our tracks. And now we see it all. But I want to do this with one keyboard shortcut. So you jump to the entire project, both horizontally and vertically. So let's see how to do that. Now we're gonna do this with a custom action. And this custom action requires the SWS extensions. So if you don't have them, make sure you install them from here. And I'll leave a link to that website in the description below. But once they're installed and you reopen Reaper, they should show up in the actions list. So if we type in SWS, here's all the actions that come with those extensions. But now let's create the custom action we need. We'll go to new action, new custom action, and create one right here. The first action is gonna save the current track selection. This is useful if you've already selected some tracks and you don't wanna lose that track selection, which I'll show you later. We'll start with this one, then we'll add Select all tracks, right over here, drag this over, then vertical zoom to select the tracks. I'm gonna use this action right here. Not this one, it needs to be the one that minimizes the other tracks. Drag this over, then we're gonna restore the saved track selection, which we saved over here. Right over here. So it's gonna save the current track selection, select all tracks, vertical zoom to the selected tracks while minimizing the others and restore the save track selection. Now we could just save this and it will zoom out to the full project, but just vertically. We want to do it horizontally as well. So we'll add in the action from before. So it'll do both at once. Drag this in at the end. Now this custom action is going to perform all these actions at one time. Let's give it a name and we'll save it. And it shows up right here. Now we can give this a keyboard shortcut or we can replace the other one, but I prefer to still have the other one available and just add shift to this one. So we'll add a keyboard shortcut and just add shift to the other one, which would be control shift page down on the PC or command shift page down on the Mac. Save it. Now this custom action should do what we want. So if I'm zooming in really close, vertically and horizontally, I could jump back to my home position or I could zoom out to everything using that keyboard shortcut and the custom action we created. 
it zooms out the entire project horizontally and vertically. Now the tracks are a bit smaller, but we see them all. Before, it looked like this, where we could see more on each track, but we have to scroll down to see all the tracks. Or we'll scroll over to see the entire project. But now, instead of just hitting the keyboard shortcut to zoom out the full project horizontally, we can now do it both ways, both horizontally and vertically, just adding the shift key. Now we can see everything. And to see what it would look like in a bigger project, let's select all these tracks and copy them and scroll down and duplicate them down here. Now we have a much bigger project. If we zoom out to a normal size, we can't see all the tracks, at least not at once, both horizontally and vertically. But now we can with that keyboard shortcut. Just hit it. Now we see everything horizontally and vertically. So we can see every track in our project, even though they get pretty small. We can always jump back to that home size I saved, zoom in vertically or horizontally, and jump back to see everything at once using that keyboard shortcut or the custom action we created. And because we chose to restore any track selection, if we select some tracks, let's select the snare and this bass, we can still hit that keyboard shortcut. It zooms out horizontally and vertically, but it restored the track selection we had. So if we select this kick and the snare, trigger that custom action, it still kept the track selection we had, but zoomed out completely to the full project, both horizontally and vertically. So it's one of my most useful custom actions as I use it all the time. So that's pretty much it. That's zooming out to the full project in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.